The second map is Whirlwind. Spawning in the bottom right-hand position. Sorry, third map, ladies and gentlemen, excuse me. Spawning in the bottom right-hand position as the Red Zerg from Wounds and Stars. This time around, it's Soul Key. His opponent, spawning as a Blue Zerg on map Whirlwind top right-hand position. His name is Hydra. Currently has one kill and going for the second one. So, Soul Key, if he defeats Hydra here, he does still have to go through players like Effort and Hero. Very solid players from CJ. They can definitely make uh, some waves in the all-kill round, round five. But uh, Solky, he has a good record against Zerg. He has proven himself very capable against Protoss players as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, those are, I think, the, the main kind of uh, players we'll be seeing coming out from CJ if Hydra does fall here. Yeah, well, even if uh, even if Hydra does take out Soul Key, they ha still have amazing Zerg players, Terran players, and Protoss players that Hydra needs to face. And remember last time, he went for the three kills easily, but it might not just happen today. And even if he does, the work is going to, it's going to get harder for Hydra as he gets more wins today. But it does allow CJ Entus to snipe their opponent much easier than they expect him. All right, well, we are seeing a pool opening from Sulky here, while Hydra, once again, going for that hatchery first. Very confident in that opener. And the Wunjin player is just playing a little bit more conservatively here, going for that pool instead of the hatch first. You know, I have to say, hatch first is so standard on this particular map. The map is so large, harder to scout your opponent. Sulky got lucky with the Overlord positioning and the scouting over there, but now Soki saying, well, my hatchery is going to get delayed compared to my opponent, but the timing doesn't really matter at this point. The 15 hatch versus pull first, um, uh, that's not a 10 pull. Yeah, not a 10 pull. The, the important thing to keep a, an eye out for here. All right, so the gas already completed for Hydra here. He opted to go for that gas before the pool, playing as greedy as possible with this opener, and why not? Whirlwind, it's a pretty large map. The the Zergling 10 pool is a little bit weaker because of the distance between the bases here. And uh, we do see that Sulky, you know, this guy getting his gas as well. Uh, we should be seeing both players go for that um, Zergling speed as soon as they get up to that 100 gas. You can see a Zergling speed or go for the fast layer, but especially in ZBC, it's just much better to get the Zergling speed first, go for the bailing nest, and then start teching. Exactly. That's the best way to play safe against any type of mass Zergling attacks. Mm -hmm. You want to make sure you have those bailings early on, just just in case. We've actually seen some players skip out on the speed, actually, um, in some of the recent games, trying to get their bailing us first, and then using the bailings to defend against the mass Zerglings while taking into Spire, and it just didn't work out well for all of those players. It's better to get the speed right away. Uh, we've even seen players try to go for the fast roaches as well, and kind of ignore that speed. Mm -hmm. So... Really, you know, taking out the speed, that is an extra 100 gas for a faster layer, you know, maybe faster roaches, upgrades, or whatever. It allows you to get other things a little bit faster. The banging less, though, all the way for Hydra here, so he's adding that into his mix of uh, buildings here. Same thing for uh, Sulky as well. And uh, these Zerglings will move into the main base. One does go down, and uh, that second one will eventually get taken out here, but not before it scouts the, the gas, the speed being researched, and the... Bailing nest. So, Hydra, he sees everything here. He must be feeling really comfortable. All he has to do is play accordingly. So, if he sees a lot more Zerglings, no, he saw a drone pop out at the last second. So, he knows that it's not going to be a heavy pressure and from Soki with tons of Zerglings. But behind it, Zerglings. He's, he's making 10 Zerglings as soon as he showed the drone to the last uh, Zergling that Hydra had inside the main base. But Hydra saying, well, there's not going to be too many Zerglings popping in right now, so I'm just going to build one spine crawler, get some bailings out to defend against what Sulky has. Uh, and uh, another thing to notice about Hydra's play last game against Mechia, he only got like a, a few defensive structures against mm -hmm. his opponent. He droned up heavily. Sulky now is going to move in with uh, a large contingent of Zerglings here. He's going to try the micro against those banelings, but now. We have uh, Hydra, he knows what's going on here, being pretty cost efficient there, and uh, moving two banelings into this mineral line here. The drone's forced to run away here as well, and the baneling connection, will it be good here? Doesn't look happen. like it's going to get too much, and the queens get a nice surround on that, or the zerglings get a surround on the queen, but the additional banelings from Hydra is going to force him away. 
only losing one drone in that entire uh, spiel there, so. Yeah, and it's not like Hydra produced a lot of Zerglings behind it, so Soulkey trying to force the Zerglings out, but it just didn't work out. But the problem is, now with this, we have a lot more Zerglings coming up our way wow. for our Zerg player Hydra, That's and can he defend against what Soulkey has? Nice connections there, just, uh-oh, whoa, kill, losing a few Zerglings there, but they're gonna go into the main base as the Banelings run. Go ahead, they're gonna take out that spine crawler, and now Hydra under assault in the main base. Three banelings being morphed in here uh, at this point, and now more banelings going for that natural as well. Oh, a little bit of a, a missed micro there from Solky, but these banelings connections will be excellent, killing off a lot of workers here. And uh, this continued assault from Solky here. Can Hydra defend in time? He is uh, still slightly ahead in workers, but not by much. He's losing the Zergling War, though. The Spine Crawler going to get canceled as well. Where are Hydra's Banelings? He really needs them. Like I said, he was actually making a lot of drones, thinking that he defended against these attacks. Now, if you just look at the pure drone count, Hydra didn't lose as many drones. Look at the 33 to 31, but that connection was nice. Very good, and we still have constant aggression here from Hydra. Oh, those Banelings not getting the best connection there on the uh, the Banelings of their opponent. Uh-oh, the drone! Oh my oh, no. god! Nice circling block at the last second, and that's going to prevent a suicide bomber on those drones. But the problem is, Solki is relentless with this attack here. He is just doing more and more damage as time goes on. He's already ahead by about 25 supply. Things are starting to look very bleak for Hydra here. More Banelings, more Zerglings running into the main base there. Good connection. That's going to kill off a lot of drones. GG! Soul Key defeats Hydra with some very solid aggression. That's what you get if you see tons of Zerglings and drone up behind it, thinking that you defended against the attack. Indeed. Uh, you know what? I love that Soul Key just went for it as soon as he showed the drones to his opponent. Oh, yeah. He just went for it, man. And he was able to just do a lot of damage. I want to say that Hydra, he had good defense for a while, but once he lost the Spine Crawler and he couldn't make Banelings as fast, I feel like things started to really go down for him. The uh, Making that an extra round of drones also really hurt him when he thought the aggression was over. So currently, guys, the score 2-1 with Wounded Stars in the lead. Soul Key defeats.